Yep. So, oh. first, yes. So first of all, I just wanted to just to check your full name and your date of birth for me, please. Uh, well, uh, my name is Tanvir Hossain and my date of birth is 5th November 2003. Okay. Thank you. And what course are you studying? Uh, I have applied for BSc honors in computer science. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Okay, so let me just just gonna go do a little run through. So, if would you be able to? Are you alone in the room? Yes, I am alone in my room. Okay, would you be able to just show me around the room? Okay. If just put your, yeah, if you just put your camera around. Ah, uh, here it is. Is this okay. is okay? Yes, yes. Just yeah, if you just go around, yep. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so I appreciate your time today to speaking with me. So the interview will be conducted as part of the university's precast process. So during the precast process, we perform various checks to ensure that applicants meet all the visa requirements before um, getting the CAS. So these checks include reviewing financial evidence, supporting documents and assessing your general needs to studying on the course. And this interview is part of the checks. OK, okay. So, so the interview will be about approximately 15 to 20 minutes. So you shouldn't not be using any notes during the interview. We will ask that you provide detailed answers to the questions. And I'll be taking notes as you speak. So please speak clearly and just bear with me if I keep repeating myself. It's just that because I'm writing some notes down. So if you have any questions before the interview or at the end, um, please feel free to ask. OK. Yes. OK. Yeah. So just start off. How are you today? Are you OK? Yes, I'm fine. What about you? Yes, I'm good. Thanks. Thank you for asking. So the first question is, at LSBU, we have many societies you could join. How do you usually like to spend your free time? Uh, well, um, in my, uh, I love to pass my leisure time uh, with uh, gossiping with my friends and uh, uh, playing cricket. I love to play cricket in my school uh, life. I played cricket very much and I was the captain in my cricket internal premier, premier league in school and uh, if I get any chance to play in LSBU sports club or uh, sports center then I will obviously join this team and I will pass my leisure time by those kind of activities. Okay, thank you. Um, have you um, studied in the UK before? No, this is my first time I am applying for. OK, that's fine. Um, could you give me just a summary of your previous um, studies in your home country? Uh, well, um, sorry. Do you want me to repeat? Studies? Yeah, yes, just sorry. your yeah, your previous studies um, uh, in your well, home well. country. Yeah. OK, well, uh, previously I have completed my uh, higher secondary certificate in 2021 from Mirpur College and I got 4.50 from science background. There I have studied uh, physics, chemistry, information, communication and technology. Okay. Okay. Hello? Yes, that's fine. Yeah, sorry, I'm just writing down. Thank you. That's fine. Okay. Um, so my next question is, um, when did you finish your your last study? So when did you finish? Uh, well, as I said before, I have completed my higher secondary school certificate in 2000, December 2021. OK. OK, that's fine. Uh, my next question is, what um, course have you applied for? I have applied for BSc Honours in Computer Science. OK. Thank you. 
Um, could you give me just some um, specific details about the course at LSBU? Any specific modules in the course that made you choose us? Um, well, um, in London South Bank University, I have to complete uh, the, some modules in first year, which is uh, fundamentals of computer science, fundamentals of software development, uh, district mathematics, professional practice, data structure and algorithm uh, requirements analysis and UCD. And uh, um, all of all those are very interesting modules. Um, but um, uh, among of them, uh, fundamentals of software developing, uh, it seems uh, much interesting and uh, it will be my favorite one. And um, by this module, I can learn and the fundamentals of computer programming covering variables, areas, data types, algorithms, conditional and interactive codes to uh, use of the functions and I will learn how to write simple programs making use of a contemporary programming language and the professional and uh, enver uh, developer environment development. Uh, this assessment is 100% course work. Okay, thank you. Um, so the next question is, why did you choose LSBU and compared to any other university? Um, well, um, there are many popular universities in the United Kingdom for higher studies, by, uh, but I chose London South Bank University. Uh, this is my undisputed choice. And uh, one of the main reasons of choosing London South Bank University uh, is its uh, reputation for providing a high quality education and in the field of computer science. Uh, the university has a strong focus on uh, practical learning. And uh, the another reason is the ranking of the university. Um, uh, London South Bank University ranked, um, uh, ranked uh, 801 to uh, 801 to 1000 rank in the QS World Ranking, mm, uh, 301 to 350 by the Times Higher Education, 116 uh, in complete university, a ranking, uh, 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 complete university guide ranking in 2023 and uh, 96th ranking in the Guardian University ranking in 2023. And there are also, um, uh, there are a lot of reasons of choosing London South Bank universities as for the tuition fees. Um, tuition fee, um, London South Bank University tuition fee is not as high as comparing to any other universities in the United Kingdom. And uh, the facilities of London South Bank University are much attractive than any other university. Uh, so after considering all these things, I have familiarly determined to, to the London South Bank University. OK, thank you very much. Um, so my next question is, what do you plan to, to do once you finish your studies at LSBU? Sorry, I can hear you. Um, I'll repeat the question. So what do you plan to do once you, you finish your studies at LSBU? Okay. okay. Um, after completing BSc honours in computer science from the London South Bank University, I will come back to my home country and uh, I want to join as a software developer in a reputable company in Bangladesh like uh, Grameen Phone Limited, Robiex Digital Limited and uh, Square Pharmaceuticals Limited where I can earn a competitive salary uh, from 1 lakh to 1.5 lakh GDT per month and uh, I will use my education uh, and uh, I will use my education and professional uh, practical experience uh, to gain uh, to gain the uh, Necessary skills for success, and uh, I keep plan to I plan to keep my uh, learning by attending uh, workshops, training programs, and uh, industry conferences. As I gained uh, more experience, I hope to take on a role, um, leadership role, uh, like uh, project manager or software architect, and contribute to the growth of the technology in technology sector in Bangladesh. Additionally, I am. Determined to uh, additionally, I'm determined to to uh, determined to uh, contribute uh, my uh, community 
to give back to my community by volunteering and supporting yeah, supporting local initiatives that uh, improve computer literacy and access to technology. OK, thank you. Um, so the next question is, do you know how much your tuition fees are? Uh, my tuition fee is uh, 15,900 pounds per year. OK. And do you know how much money you will need whilst you are studying in London for your um, living costs? Would you be able to just provide me with an idea of your budget um, you will need, you know, for like your food or expenses? Uh, OK, well, um, uh, according to the UKVI website um, in, in the inner London, um, the living cost will be uh, £1,334 per month and uh, in a uh, year, uh, which will be £12,900. Uh, if I break it down um, by individually for my accommodation, food, transportation, and then which will be uh, in my accommodation, uh, I need to £600 to £700 pound, um, for a month, and uh, the food cost will be can be um, £200, but the transportation can be uh, £100, and uh, the, my living, uh, my stationary books, uh, my educational ex um, expenses can be uh, £50 pounds, uh, per month and uh, uh, my £100 pound or £50 pound for my entertainment to visit some new places to try some new foods or anything uh, which will be £100 pound. and uh, and the movement for my mobile recharge uh, it can be £70. Pound. Uh, so if I, um, if I uh, calculate all of these expenses it can be thirteen to £1,400 pound per month. Okay, thank you. Hello. Yeah, sorry, I'm just I'm still writing. Thank you. That's fine. <laughs> okay. I, I was just think uh, there is a uh, internet connection. But oh no no no, it's fine. No, it's okay. <laughs> I'm just okay. still okay, was okay. writing. <laughs> um. So okay. the next question is, how do you plan to fund or pay for the studies? Um. Well, my father is sponsoring for my my father is sponsoring for my studies, so I do not have any plan. My father will be on my all of the living expense vision. Okay. And are you ready to provide proof um, with that? Yes. You are? Okay. Just to check, that's all. Um, next question is: um, What job do your parents? Um, what do what job do your parents um, do, and what's their income? Are you planning to work um, to work to to help fund for your studies? Um, uh, sorry, but your voice is breaking. Can oh, can you hear me the... now? Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. So what I was saying is: What um, what job do your parents do, and what's their income? Uh, okay, well, uh, my father is uh, sponsoring me for my higher studies and my mother is a housewife, so my father will uh, funding me for all of my expenses and uh, my father is a businessman and he has um, a lead workshop in our local area. Uh, from this workshop, he can earn uh, three to four lakh BDT per month um, and uh, he owns two houses. Um, he owns two houses, and um, from his house, he earns uh, three lakh BDT uh, per month. Um, in a month, uh, he can earn average uh, five to six lakh BDT per month. Uh, if I convert, um, and uh, in a year, uh, he earns uh, sixty to seventy three uh, 